Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kara and it is December 2018 and I am here with my oracle cards, my own wisdom oracle cards to um, look at what the energy is this month, December 2018 and see what's going on. Where are we? And um, I just want to start with an update. I did not do a November forecast for you guys because of the campfire in Northern California. We evacuated um, the night that it broke out and we were gone for about three days and then came home and our house was fine. We got all our animals out, my kids, my dad, husband, everybody was fine. And, um, and then we just kind of had to wait for it all to finish out, finish playing out. Um, spent some time uh, reuniting people who were separated with their pets, doing free intuitive readings for people to connect them and help them find their pets who had been relocated or um, some were still up in the areas. Um, a lot of animals are still alive, they're still separated, so it's, it's an ongoing issue. Um, and I am feeling called to do more for that, so I'm not sure what that's going to look like, but um, hoping to connect with some people and see if I can't point my intuitive radar in the direction to help people and animals and make sure that people get reconnected and animals get reconnected with their people. So let's look at the energy this month. I'm um, using my Animal Wisdom Oracle cards, as I said, and I'm going to just pull these three cards and. Huh, Okay, cool. So, first card is the octopus, and I love the octopus. It's all about flexibility, but it's also about being so connected and so aware of your connection with the universe that you recognize that everything you need is provided for you. So whatever you need, it's somewhere around you. It's either within you or it's outside of you, but it's somewhere. We always have what we need. We just need to look. Um, the second card is the owl. The owl is all about clarity. This month, this card in particular feels to me like it's um, clarity in the sense of honesty. So being really clear about stuff, not being wishy-washy, not sugarcoating anything, but just being really straight. And it really feels to me like it's about being straight with yourself, being honest with yourself. So seeing yourself with clarity but also compassion, because the, the wisdom of the owl is that all-seeing, all-knowing compassion for everything and, um, and knowing that there are consequences to our actions. So to me, this feels more about the clarity and compassion piece, and it feels like it's very much directed within. So um, just be very gentle with yourself, but also at the same time, very honest. And, you know, to me, this can look like, and this is how it's showing up for me already this month, it's um, just really noticing some places where I'm a little bit rigid in my thinking. And instead of getting mad at myself or getting down on myself, that owl is saying, good, that's the honesty, that's the clarity, you see things clearly. But also, remember, you're only human. Don't hold yourself to a higher standard than you can achieve. You'll, you'll get there. You'll do it all in good time but have compassion for yourself. So that's what Owl is saying to me this month. And then finally, the third card is Otter. And Otter is all about finding the joy and cherishing each moment, enjoying the moment, um, really just being present and acknowledging when we're in gratitude, we are in that place of joy. And in the US, we just came out of Thanksgiving about a couple weeks ago. And we're in the holiday season, and this is all about recognizing those connections that we have that are important to us, that our loved ones being together, and um, really celebrating that connection and making it through the year. Um, for a lot of us, this is a really tough year, and it's the energy of December is very soft. It's very gentle. It feels like it's... Um, it's a month where you're going to be just coming into this gentle awareness of clarity about yourself and who you are and what you're up to and, and what's old and what's ready to be released, which is perfect as we move into the new year. And we just want to shed all those limitations of the previous year. So the energy this month is about being present during the, the joyous holiday season, cherishing 
yourself, your connections, your relationships, your events, whatever's going on for you. And just really knowing that all is well in preparation for that big letting go that we all seem to do around the new year. It's a new beginning, a new start. So you're going to have some awareness coming up this month of what you're ready to let go of. And just start noticing it because you will be seeing what you can grow from, how you can grow, what you can let go of. So just like me with those limiting beliefs, those rigidness, those rigid thoughts that I've been having the last couple of days, that's just part of my process of becoming aware of what I can let go of. It's coming into my awareness because it's coming up to be released. I don't need that crap. I don't need to be uptight. Nobody needs that. So I've now found another place where I was being a little bit uptight, a little bit rigid, and I'm going to let that go and let it be released. So I'm taking these three, three animals with you this month, octopus, owl, and otter. So um, finding the flexibility, the compassion, and the joy in your life. That's what December's all about. Um, put a note in the comments. Let me know what's coming up for you if you're finding limitations in your own thinking, you know, finding places where you could be more flexible inside yourself and have more compassion with yourself and live, yourself, live your life with more joy. I'd love to hear all about it and see how the month is going for you. So leave a note in the comments. And um, hey, you guys have been asking for these cards and I am this close to having them ready for you. So I'm hoping that um, I will be able to make those available for order in the next week or so. So definitely this month in December, I'm hoping to have those ready for you. For, for purchase. So um, stay tuned because I'm so excited to share them with you. So that's it for me. Um, let me know how's the month going, how everything is for you, and what you're letting go of. All right, have a beautiful month. I look forward to seeing you next month. Bye, everybody.